Hey, I'm Avery. I'm Aiden. I'm Amani. And we're Ricky Burton, Burton, and you're watching the Elite Network. <laughs> with the Elite Network Entertainment Business and Beauty. Now you know how I am when I'm doing my community segment and today I'm so very excited to have the Burton Brothers with me. These are three young men in college, in high school, in middle school and they are taking Vegas by storm. Not only in sports but in academics and I'm going to introduce them to you one by one. Welcome my guests, the Burton Brothers. I'm Aiden. I'm Amani, and I'm Avery. Aiden, Amani, and Avery. Oh my God! So I got my triple A here on the set with me today, and I'm very excited. And you are the youngest of the crew, yes? Yes. yes. And how old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. And your brother next to you, how old is he? Nineteen. And how? Uh, let's see if the little one remembers how old his big brothers are. How old is your middle brother? Nineteen. Nineteen. And the oldest brother? Twenty-two. 22. What is it like to have two big brothers? So many kids in the world want a brother, but you got two big brothers. Yeah. How's that feel? It, it's awesome. Is it awesome? Yeah. Do they pick on you? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. But you know you're going to outgrow both of them, right? Mm -hmm. You'll be the tallest in the bunch. Yes, sir. Yeah? <laughs> so, tell us what it's like to have an older brother and a younger brother, because you have the best of both worlds, too. Yeah, it's kind of nice to like have someone like look up to like as a role model my older brother. And someone like I could like give some expertise to and like a younger brother. Okay. Now, as the oldest brother, you came first. <laughs> and then the middle child came along. You might have stole a little of your thunder. And then the baby brother came, you're like, oh my god, okay, I got two brothers. So the steps and the patterns that you lead in life, they're looking up to you. Exactly. So what is it like to be a big brother with two younger brothers? Well, I mean, yeah, kinda like you said, I just have to be like a role model and and set a good example for both of the both of the little brothers, so. I think you've done a terrific job of doing that, and my hat's off to you, and I'm so excited when I learned that not only were you, were you, you two right here in college, and you're in middle school, am I correct? I am a freshman. You're a in freshman, school. freshman in high school. Yep. So you moved up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you all kind of right behind each other very close. Mm -hmm. And you have gone on from high school, Foothill High School, and gone to college. Tell us a little bit about your college years. Uh, well, it kind of flew by because I'm a senior now at UNLV. Um, and yeah, it just flew by a lot of experience that I've, like looking back, there's, I've done a lot of things. Um, but yeah, but it's been really fun. So you're going to graduate pretty soon? Yeah, in the spring. In the spring? Wow, well, am I invited? <laughs> Of course. Okay, of course. <laughs> I had to come and scream and holler for you. That would be great. Yeah, who's that lady in there? Oh, man, that's my <laughs> awesome baby. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. So tell us, what are you studying right now? Um, kinesiology. Okay. Kinesiology. Tell us a little bit about that. I know that has to do with some bones and some therapy, <laughs> a little yeah. long here and there, yeah. A lot of anatomy. It's basically like the study of human m movement. Mm -hmm. um, and w what I want to do is go into PT school. Um, and PT school, like the program that, that I want to get into, luckily UNLV has a program. Okay. It's a, a three-year like doctorate program, basically. It's really competitive to get into. Okay. Um, but I'm involved like there's like an honors society, like the pre-physical therapy mm -hmm. honors society at UNLV. So I'm making like the connections, getting involved, um, and we'll s see what happens. Well, you're being quite a role model for your brothers, and I understand that you also received three recognitions, which put you in that honor society in the sports world. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh yeah, um, yeah. I've been playing sports uh, ever since ever since I was a kid. In high school, I played tennis, I wrestled, and ran track. Um, and I feel like it sets a good tone as far as like work ethic goes. Mm -hmm. um, just being able to like manage your time and stay committed, um, and just set good like really good habits. Okay, so do you think that the field that you're going to have your doctorate in, we're just going to put it out there, <laughs> yes? Yeah. Do you think that the sports world will be able to benefit for you from what you're doing, or is it going to be more of the everyday person? Oh, well, well, well kind of like 
both, because everyone at some point they'll need some like re rehabilitation, mm -hmm. whether from sports or just from like hurting th themselves on the job or, or whatever. Um, so I feel like, yeah, because I, I haven't really like d decided as far as like specialties go. You mm -hmm. can specialize in a lot of different things, um, but I'm just focused on getting in. But yeah, but I feel like a lot of people can and do benefit from physical th therapy. Physical therapy, wonderful. Yeah. So look, like we're going to move our next team to the brother in the middle. And you have some goals and aspirations yourself. You are also in college, or you're, mm -hmm. you're freshman? Uh, sophomore. Sophomore, okay. Now he's he's a sophomore too. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, so in the college, what are you taking? Uh, I am uh, studying in business. That's mm -hmm. my in sports and media studies. Okay, sports and media. Mm -hmm. So are you going to um, help your brother out and get to a certain <laughs> level? Yeah, I can. Actually. Yeah. So could you tell our audience a little bit about what sports and media is about? Um, it's basically like the business side of sports, how to like keep a uh, sports team like operating, how to bring new like new and innovative ways to like bring fans to the stadiums and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, you just try to find new ways to bring fans to the stadiums and find new pro like pr promotions to bring other type of people that might not want to go to games, like younger people or mm -hmm. older people that might not know what uh, the sport is. So you have a little little media marketing in there? As yeah, well, I'm trying to pick up a uh, major in marketing, but like I haven't really gotten there, but like, I'm taking a couple classes that like that kind of like go together. Okay, what, what made you want to go into such a field? Uh, my dad, he used to work for the Chargers as a PR uh, mm -hmm. person for the Chargers, and like I've always liked sports, so kind of like I kind of want to stay involved in like sports, basically, or mainly football, okay. and uh, I'll be able to do that like through this uh, business side of it by being able to help like run a sport or football team. Okay, now you had quite a background in your high school years mm -hmm. in the sports world, like your brother did. Tell us a little bit about yours. Um, when he was a junior, uh, he got me to go run track with him, and that was fun. Like it, ke like it kept me busy, mm -hmm. and I just got to hang out with him also. Um, and I played football through my uh, sophomore and senior through senior year. So basically, I've just stayed active through football and track here and there. Oh, okay. So while you're in college, are you, are you doing any sports? While you're um, right now, I am a part of the Quidditch club team, mm. based off the Harry Potter book. Really? Yeah. I like Harry Potter. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, it seems like a lot of people like Harry Potter, yeah. but like me, I haven't really read any of the books, so it's kind of like everything's kind of just like new to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I have all the Harry Potter mm -hmm. movies. You can, you want to borrow them, you can catch up <laughs> on it. I loved all of them except for one. Didn't Which one's that? Much for the Lord Voldemort, or mm -hmm. you say his name wrong, when he jumped inside of Harry, I didn't like that. Oh. Or if that was him, and correct me wrong, correct me, Harry Potter fan, but now you got to connect me and go, oh, she said it wrong. But... When he did that, I like that. <laughs> Other than that, I loved it all. And they're all grown now. Mm -hmm. They were little kids about your age when they first started. Yeah? yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a commercial break. And we'll be right back with the fabulous, wonderful, just amazing Burton Brothers. We'll be right back. Awareness to domestic violence, homelessness, educating our youth.
around uh. and I've taught the young girls how to walk and talk and be ladies and the young men to be strong and understanding. I've oh, yeah. laughed and I've cried with the children. So I'm here to tell you that joy comes in the morning. The power, the power is within. You grab hold, you grab hold and you may Let's give it up for Minnie Fox. I am a product of women, thousands of women, with courage, 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 courage. I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. All right, it's Minnie Fox, and we are back with my special guest today, the Burton Brothers. Now, I left off with my youngest Burton brother right here. Tell everybody your name again. Aiden. Mm -hmm. Aiden, spell your name. A D E N. Yeah. Can you spell your brother's name? Um, A M A N I and A V E R Y. Okay. <laughs> now I thought I'd save this question for you, because you know the youngest brother knows everything. Yeah. Right. So, how did you? How did your parents come up with all these A's to get me tongue twisted here today? How did we get to all those A's in your name? Well, my mom's name is Anne, so she okay. wanted to like keep the flow with that. With all the A's. Your mom's name was Anne. She kept it. Okay. What's Daddy's name? Reggie. Reggie. Okay. You got an E in there. Does that count? Because <laughs> there's an E in, in your name. Yeah. Yeah? That could work. Yeah. That could work? Okay. We got to give Dad some props too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, guess what? You are a sophomore. A freshman. A freshman in high school. Yeah. Yes. I want you to be a sophomore, don't I? <laughs> I want you to just hurry up and get it over with. And then that way you can do what your brother's doing and, and leave your mark in the world. Yeah? But you are leaving your mark right now. Understand that you are an A student. Yes. How about that? Mostly. Yes. Don't, don't take the brag. <laughs> yes. Look at the camera right there. So yes, I'm an A student. I am. Of course you are. So what's one of your favorite subjects? Um, I would say science. Science? You yeah. like science? Yeah. Okay. Well, what 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 intrigues you about science? Just like knowing how everything happens, like how everything works. Just how it works. Did you, did you like to dissect the frog? No, I didn't. No? <laughs> we had to do that when I was growing up. We had to dissect that frog. I, I stood there and I looked at the frog and I think I drowned him because I cried so hard over him. Oh. And so finally my teacher was like, forget it, you know? But guess what? My dad was a pathologist. Obviously, you know what that is, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the science of the body yeah. after we pass on, yes? So at the science fairs, when I was a little girl, I brought a brain, I brought the heart, I brought your, your liver, your kidneys, all the insides and how your body functions to the science fair. And every year I brought something different because my dad got it released from the lab and he would bring it over. So if there wasn't a class that I wasn't the most popular in, it was science. So me and you got that in common. How about that? Yeah? Yeah. I think if you brought a heart to school right now, the kids would probably freak out. Yeah. yeah. So tell me some of your goals. What is it you want to do with your life? Your brothers are doing pretty well. What are you going to do? Uh, I also grew up in sports, so I want to like stick with that when I grow up. And yeah, that, that's about it. Okay. What kind of sports? Uh, mostly football. Football? Ooh, all these football players here. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me what position you played in football? Uh, cornerback. The cornerback? Yeah. Okay. I know what the wide receiver does. Cornerback is the one that guards the wide receiver. Yeah. You got an important job there, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. That's all I know about football. <laughs> so what the wide receiver does, I know that. You yeah. know, that's pretty good. You got to be fast. Yeah. Yes. So, and, and what other position do, do you get to do two different ones, or do you just have that one position? I mostly play that one position. Okay, but you know another one, don't you? Yeah. I hear something in there. What is it? What other position you know how to play in football? Uh, safety. Safety, see? I knew so you're a safety as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, what did your brothers play? Do you remember? Um, he was also a cornerback or a safety. Everything, basically. <laughs> yeah. He did yeah. everything? <laughs> I have no idea what they do, though. <laughs> you see? So you got to go back and look at all that, all that history, yeah? yeah now, I understand <laughs> that in the world of sports, you all have that all wrapped up. You know, you've done it. A great job, and that's commendable. So congratulations to you. You know, we do our little clicks like this because when we clap, everyone here, yes. Uh -huh. 
Because when we clap, it makes too much noise for the camera, so we uh, just kind of click. It's a cool <laughs> thing to do, so I hear it, yeah. But, anything you like music? I do. You do? I play the cello. You play the cello. How about that? It used to? They passed that down to you? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know any other instruments? Uh, no, that's about it. Okay, so the cello is pretty challenging, is it? Yeah. Yeah? Any particular song that you like? Did you play on the cello? Did you do real well? Um, I mean, not, like, mostly all of them. Mostly all of what? All of the ones that I played at my school. Okay, you remember any one in particular that you really like to play? You play them for the school, but is there one that you like? Um, Dexter Holtz. Oh! <laughs> right in time, this is the holiday, so yep. Dexter Holtz it is. Mm -hmm. La 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 la. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just go throw it here. All right, look, I, I would like to ask each one of you this question. And there was something that you could say that was real special to your mom. Very short, what would you say? To my mom? Yep, look right there next to me. Um, I just want to say thanks for all this support. Like, it may not seem that we're, like, appreciative, but we are. Just, like, all the little things that she does to make sure that we're doing what we're doing, able to do what we do, whether it's cooking or um, taking care of the house or any, just all the, the small things that she does. Okay, and you? Thank you for all the support you've given me, and I really appreciate it. And thank you for doing things for me, even though I don't do things for, uh, that you tell us to do, like <laughs> daily chores or something like that. <laughs> All right, what about you? What do you uh, like to say to mom? Thank you for always working so hard to allow us to achieve our dreams and take the path that we, that we want to. And it's amazing the path that you're on. And I haven't met your mom yet. I will very soon. And, but I have met your father. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what your mom looks like, but you all look like different versions of your dad sitting here at different, uh, his different points in life. And you're taller than dad. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty interesting. You're the middle child. I thought that was pretty cool. So if you could say something to your father that you wanted him to hear, what would you tell him? Uh, thank you for always encouraging me to like do whatever interest, like whatever I have interest in, and to stick with it and work, always work hard. Okay, and you, sweetheart. Uh, thank you for being a great role model to me and always telling me to like do the right thing, and for never, well, for telling me to never like give up in my dreams. Yeah, and I just want to say. If Thanks for all the support, even if it's um, not something that he's particularly interested in, and making sure that like I'm up to date with stuff that I'm not always interested in, like uh, current events, stuff like that, <laughs> especially. Well, you know what's, what's wonderful about the two of you is that you have both your parents. And, and some kids grow up with one, either mom or dad. They're together, but they're not together, so they're in their lives. But you have your mom and dad together in the same house. And you are a student, you're an athlete, you're, you love music, and you know music is the whistle to the soul. Did you know that? Yeah. Stevie Wonder said that. <laughs> Y'all know a little bit about music? I sure do. But you are an inspiration to young people that uh, are trying to do things with their life against the odds. Yes? Yeah. What do you think your life would be like if you didn't have one of your parents in the morning? I'm going to ask my oldest brother here, if one of your parents wasn't around in the same home, do you think it would be a little harder for you to do what you've accomplished so far in your life? Yeah, for sure. I feel like, yeah, because I feel like all of us just kind of worked together as a team. Like, everyone c contributes in some way to, like, kind of bring us up to the point that we are now. And they're all, like, keystone, important pieces. So, if, so without that, yeah, it'd be a lot different. I probably couldn't be doing what, what I'm doing right now. So. Okay. So an inspiration to those of us that um, enjoy life. And you are the window to the future. <laughs> the future is going to be very bright with the three of you in it. And I plan to be around for graduation, for graduation, for <laughs> graduation. No, I don't really be an old lady by the time you graduate. <laughs> But that's okay. Look, we're going to go to another break real quick here, but I want to have you to just go get a pen and a piece of paper. We're going to go in the kitchen, as you know. I always do a nice little dinner or lunch for my guests, and I put a special dinner together for you tonight because you are the Brighton brothers, <laughs> and you've got to eat. 
And as young growing men, I wanted to show you something that's a real quick uh, dish that you can make on your own. Yes? So we're going to take this break and we'll be right back. All right, it's Minnie Fox and we're back with the Elite Network in our community category with the Burton Brothers. And as I mentioned earlier, A-plus students, athletes, and musical within the soul. <laughs> yes, he said yes. So, growing boys need something to eat. And as you know, I love to come in my kitchen and cook something. So what I did for the boys today is my famous bean casserole. I can't really take uh, credit for it because my son used to make the bean casserole so he was about your age. <laughs> and he'd follow you around and make sure that at Christmas you ate some of his bean casserole. Mom, they don't have bean casserole on their plate. You'd have to eat it. So I made the bean casserole. What we do is we just take some green beans, some fresh green beans, and a little dash of Italian dressing. That's what gives it the extra little spice. But you can also use a cream chicken or a cream celery or cream mushroom. It just depends on which one of those you want. Campbell's makes the best, by the way. Mix it all together and then cover it with your French onions and then bake it. Oh, it just tastes so good. In addition to that, I also made my famous Italian chicken legs. Mm. And you want to make sure that you clean your chicken very well. And then put the legs together in your nice bowl and cover it with a little pepper, a little lorries, a little garlic, mm -hmm. uh-huh, and some Parmesan cheese. And then mix it all together. And it's really, really good. Once you bake it, you got to make your foil double so the foil keeps the heat in really good. Once you bake it and it's finished, and the meat is just nice and tender, yeah, then you're going to take some Italian dressing, top, pour it over the top, and bake it again. And that's what makes it taste so good. So without further ado, that is what we're going to have. And then I got some apple pie and ice cream for you too, right? Okay, so we're going to come right over here in the kitchen, and let's make a plate here. We're going to make a plate for the youngest brother in the crew. One of my triple A's right here. Yes, this is yours. You're going to come right over here and move this out of the way here. Can you put that over there for me, please? Thank you. That'll work. I'm going to do this right here. Give you some green beans. He says, oh, vegetables. I don't want to eat vegetables. Yeah. My son loves vegetables. and he got older, I can't get him to eat them. All right? Now, you always want to add something a little crunchy. It doesn't always have to be bread, but Townhouse has these amazing cheese and spit crackers. Yes? Taste one. Let me see what you think. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make a plate for you as well. Huh? Those crackers are pretty tasty, right? Yeah. Yeah, it just gives that extra little zest in there for you. I'm going to get some more green bean casserole right here. <laughs> All right, now I also call this the bachelor meal. And you got young guys with bachelors, you're living on campus, you're trying to make ends meet. Okay, there's a lot of places where you can shop to be able to get your food. We got Winco with great prices, and let's not forget Walmart. Yes, Walmart has a phenomenal grocery store in there. You're able to go in there and shop in the grocery section and then go on the other side and get all your household items. Makes it really good. Now, we oftentimes talk about the 99 cent store because the 99 cent store happens to be the place where everybody in college goes because you're on a budget. And it is one of the stores that's a test market. So many times when you see something in the 99 cent store, Eventually, you're going to see it in the store, yeah? yeah. Because they, they uh, put things there and they test it out, right? So we got uh, Walmart, 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree. Those are places you go and shop when you're on a college budget. Yes, something you got to look forward to, <laughs> right? Right? Making money go a long way, yes? So while we're coming to a close on our show, I want you to tell us a little bit about your symbols here on your left shoulder and explain that a little bit to our audience. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is like a lot of the times, like the Greek letters, they're associated with like fraternities, or sororities, um, but we're more of like an honors society on campus. Um, and yeah, like I said, we just promote like like the occupation of physical therapy and 
And yeah, we just get a lot of guest speakers to talk about applications because it's so c competitive getting in. So it's important that you know exactly how to how to apply and be c com c competitive. Oh, okay. So so once you have your own business, yeah, because you're going to be an entrepreneur <laughs> and you're going to spearhead your own business. What do you think your colors are going to be? Let's put that out there right now. Hmm. What are your colors going to be? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Maybe the, I like the, this kind of color scheme. Either something like this or like a UNLD, like scarlet and gray. Scarlet and so yeah, gray? So, yeah, something like that. Okay. I haven't thought about that yet. Okay, well, what about you? You're going to open a business doing what you do. You know, you got to have your logo and your yeah. slogan going. Maybe something along like red and black, maybe. Red and black? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to be? I don't know yet. You don't know yet. You don't know yet. But you know that's okay mm. not to know. But when you know, watch our world because he's going to take it by storm just like these two young men have right here. Now, I also want to ask you, is there someone at school that you're like your best friend, your best buddy? Yeah. Who is it? Uh, someone named R.S. R.S.? R.S. R.S. Yes. What do they do in school? Um, they play soccer. Oh, so Ooh. My son loves soccer. Yeah, I thought he was going to do all this sports stuff. He went into the film world, but that's okay. Because <laughs> when you get all your media done and you got your business, you know, then he can come pump you up and you guys will all be brothers. Yeah. <laughs> all right, wonderful. So lastly, I just want to, to find out that because you're here in Las Vegas, do you think this is where you're going to base your business? Would you base it here or you have it somewhere else? Yeah, I think so. Here? Here? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Oh, it kind of just depends on where life takes me. Okay. Okay. And you? Probably here. Probably here? Yeah. Okay. So, if you if you could go anywhere right now this minute and somebody said, I got three airline tickets, mm -hmm. I'm going to take you <laughs> wherever it is you want to go. Where would you want to go? Hawaii. Hawaii? For sure. What yeah. about you? I haven't been to Hawaii. Maybe there. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe on Hawaii? safe flight. You going to take each other to Hawaii twice? Okay, and what about you? Uh, Hawaii sounds fun. Hawaii? Okay, so all three brothers agree that they want to go to Hawaii. So they go to Hawaii. That means there's four of the most beautiful islands in Hawaii. So each one will choose one. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then that fourth island, they'll all agree to go to. So, <laughs> yeah. so it has been a pleasure to have you on my show today. The brothers, Burton, they call themselves the Burton team. Team Burton. Burton. Team Burton. Burton. Yeah, I like that. So togetherness, with a little edge of education, with a little edge of music and flair, but togetherness as family, the Burton Brothers, you will go on to inspire many young people to find their greatness as you all have at such a young age. Yes? Yep. Yeah. So let's say good night, everybody, from the Elite Network, from the Burton Brothers, and make sure you tell a friend. Do your social media because we want to make sure that the word gets out that we're here celebrating entertainment, business, beauty, community, and sports. Good night.